Hey everybody, how you doing? Last Outrider here. Are you ready for another What is Rogue Trader? Yes, you are, because we're going on to my favorite now in what were the Tyranids like 25 years ago? Hmm, what do you think? Take a moment to ponder that. Many people don't know that the Tyranids were in Rogue Trader. Uh, we'll let you... F you just... I'm not going to say anything. Let, I'm just going to read it, and, and you'll understand why there's very little... Here we go. Tyranids and the High Fleets. The inhabitants of the High Fleets are amongst the most strange, enigmatic, and dangerous of all the creatures known to the xenobiologers of the administratum. No one knows how many hive fleets there are buried within the darkness of interstellar space. The best efforts of the Imperium to scout out the hive fleets have so far revealed 13 scattered throughout the western part of the galaxy. However, the galaxy is uncompromisingly large, and there may be many more which remain undetected. The movements of the hive fleets are of great interest to all other life forms. Each fleet comprises millions upon millions of craft, resembling a huge cloud of cosmic locusts. Like locusts, every world within their path is laid waste. <coughs> every star system stripped and all resistance crushed. The motivating force behind the Hive Fleets are the Tyranids. These creatures, together with their numerous biologically cultured slave races, have no use for the worlds they ravage and make no permanent settlements. A world is nothing more than a resource to the Hive Fleets, a mine of minerals, fuel, and biological material. The Tyranids find a use for everything, from each tiny living creature, the very atmosphere of the planet even, nor do they leave a world until it is reduced to a bare core of airless rock. Tyranids are weirdly distinctive creatures. They have evolved over countless millennia within their hive fleets. Now pay close attention to this because this is when the weirdness really sets in. <laughs> they have evolved for millennia within their hive fleets. They are centauroid in appearance with six spindly limbs. Their rear limbs have webbed appendages, which serve as both hands and feet, helping to stabilize the creature in the low-gravity conditions aboard Hive Fleet ships. The front limbs are manipulative, with doubled-thumbed hands, whilst the middle legs are hooved and form the primary locomotory limb. A Tyranid can move using its central legs alone, although, when moving slowly, they tend to use any free limb to grasp onto the irregular walls of the Hive Fleet ships. All Tyranids have excellent vision, afforded by their secondary eyes which grow from stalks along their neck. These are often mistaken for ears by ignorant humans, but the creature's real ears are set deep into canals along the Tyranid's neck. Having evolved in low gravity, low density atmosphere, the Tyranid's sense of hearing is extremely poor, but they are remarkably sensitive to changes in atmospheric pressure and vibration. Tyranids are entirely carnivorous, extremely intelligent, and totally merciless. So I think you gotta try to imagine what that looks like. That means they are 
they, they, they have six limbs, but two of those limbs are hooves, which they walk on. Two are hands, which they hold things in front of them. And two are basically what they would look like as web hands. Uh, coming out of their back. They don't act, they're not feet. They're actually like hands. So they got hands this way and uh, basically hands coming out of their butt is what it would look like. Uh, and on top of that, a tail. Yeah, so, so, yeah. And that's one thing. That's what they are. They don't change. That is them. In part two, the weirdness continues. And you will hear it. Bye.